It's time for Culpeper High School Basketball on the Culpeper Media Network. Good evening, everybody. Donnie Johnson along with Gary Deal, and tonight we bring you a traditional rivalry, the Culpeper Blue Devils entertaining the Fauquier Falcons. Starting our 18th year on Channel 10 and 21, and Deal, good to have you with us. Well, thank you, Donnie. It's uh, great to be back with you again this year, and John Crawchuk behind the camera, and uh, look forward to a great year again. All right, we got a, a game of unknowns here tonight. We got Falk here. Falk here has come on to hard times since losing Coach Wayne Grizzly a few years ago. They have won, uh, let's see, they have won four games, uh, five games in three years, and two of those were forfeits. So they are not what you would call a powerhouse basketball team. On the other hand, the Culpeper Blue Devils with a new coach, Mr. Jennings, they've got a lot of players that we just never heard of starting this ball game tonight. Yeah, I think both teams are trying to find that chemistry. Um, they've had a couple scrimmages. I think uh, they're trying to find uh, the players that, that will gel uh, that will play well together. And I think the coaches uh, are going to be nervous tonight. And I think the players are going to have a lot of adrenaline. And that us usually leads to mistakes. And um, I it's going to be a very interesting night for a first game. First game for Culpeper, but the second game for the Fauquier Falcons. Uh, they got beat by Hanley the other night. It was a one point game after three quarters, but it ended up 78 to 63. So uh, going to Scooter Bailey, my buddy over there at Forward Culpeper High School, standout athlete. They played a good ball game. Just a young team trying to get its act together. And when we say young team, the one guy you might want to keep an eye out for tonight on the Falkier team is number three, Trey Thompson. James Thompson the third, and we will hear from James at halftime. He will uh, be our guest, but uh, uh, Trey probably won't get a whole lot of playing time. He did the other night, but he's a young freshman coming along. Well, I look forward to uh, watching him play. Um, I understand for Culpepper that Matthew Amos is not playing, so that's going to um, uh, detract from the team there, but I look forward to both teams. I think uh, both teams are going to be trying to figure out uh, what tempo, what style to play, uh, both on the offensive end and the defensive end. So it should be a very interesting night. And I'll go out on a limb and say that the team that gets the most points will probably win. We'll be back with the start of tonight's ball game in just a moment. Kyle Pepper hosting Falk here. And you're watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Kyle Pepper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community supporters. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sons Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with cash imprints. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. Well, good evening again, Donnie Johnson, along with Gary Deal, and we are getting set to bring you the game between the Culpeper Blue Devils and the Falkir Falcons. Culpeper comes in. This is their first game under the new coach, uh, Mr. Jennings and Falk here having a real stretch of bad luck over the last three or four years. Comes in with a record of no wins and one loss. Their loss to Hanley. All right, Gary, let's uh, we get the starting yeah, lineups here now. And the Falk here Falcons are being introduced. Yeah, Donnie, the uh, starting five for the uh, Falk here Falcons, Travis Block, Nick Rhodes, Dylan Donner, Howard Burnett, Nate Edwards. And now for the Blue Devils. Elijah Butler. 
Number five, J.Q. Williams. Number 14, Tyreek Smith. Number 14, Tyreek Smith. Number 22, Jeremiah Jordan. Number 22, Jeremiah and Jordan. Number 23, Charlie Holland. And number 23, Charlie Holland. And how about Mr. Jennings in the house tonight for the first game for Culpeper County High School coaching, uh, coming out with the first game, and, and uh, it's good to see him here tonight, Don. It is. You know, the thing of it is, though, uh, Mr. Jennings, he didn't play in this gym. When he was playing, they played over at the middle school. Almost all the games were over at the middle school. And... Uh, Mister is going to find out, I think, that it's a little tougher coaching high school than it was college and coaching boys instead of girls. So we're going to see how he does. I have complete faith in him. He's been successful at everything he does. So let's get it on. Tap control by Culpepper. J.Q. Williams in the corner. Drive and a block. Ball out of bounds. Touch last, I think. By Jeremiah Jordan of Culpeper, so it will go to Fauquier. Donnie, uh, Mr. assistants uh, are Mike Dayton, B.J. Johnson, and Jeremy Stanley. Want to mention them. And the coach for Fauquier is Jordan Orndorff uh, with the assistant, Wes Lewis. B.J. was a shooter. B.J. was a good ball player, and uh, he's – He's uh, knew how to play, very skilled. Mike Dayton, too. Mike Dayton was a good ball player. You know, I never saw Mike play. I think he played Bridgewater, didn't he? Yeah. I but played, he's, he's not a local guy. I played with both those guys, you know, outdoors, rec leagues and stuff like that. They they uh, know how to play the game. Very skilled, both of them. Oh, I would. I would guarantee you that. Okay, now, I don't know what that was all about, but we have a – all of a sudden, the timeout on the floor. And while we had this timeout – We'll remind you of our sponsors this year. Our live sponsor is Able Heating and Air, uh, answering all, any and all of your questions about HVAC systems. Uh, Found and Sons Funeral Home is a another sponsor this year. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford has been sponsoring us for a long time. And finally, Cash Imprints, and we will hear more from these good people as we go along in our broadcast, and we thank them for helping us. Well, we got a technical foul here. I think it may have to do with somebody in the scorebook, not properly put in the scorebook. So Elijah Butler puts in two, and the Falcons have two points and the ball. The Culpepper is in a 1-2-2 uh, two, two zone. And we got a foul call on Culpepper. What I'm seeing already, Donnie, is Culpepper looks pretty small this year. Yes. Uh, they look young. And I think when we were interviewing uh, Mr. Uh, last week for the for the coaches show, uh, he mentioned that, that it was going to be uh, an I interesting year because he had a young team, uh, a small team, and they were going to be mostly fast-paced. Travis Brock, one out of two for the free throw line, three nothing. Falk here, wheeling and turning into the lane and putting it up and in is J.Q. Williams. Three, two now. Lead is one for the Falcons. Down low and a nice block in there. Blue Devil basketball. Williams gets it, brings it down. I think Sets his offense. I think the players and the coaches are going to be uh, a little anxious. First game of the season for Culpepper. Uh, going to be a little nervous. That was a good shot there. 5-3. Blue Devils take the lead. Nice pass underneath. Edwards missed it. Williams goes into traffic, gets smacked in the face, and a foul is going to be called on Nick Rhodes.
JQ Williams at the line for shot up and rims out. Donnie, I think we might have found out what the technical is because in, in my roster, I don't have a number two, and there's a number two on the court for Culpepper. So well, that may have been what the technical foul was all about. Well, we'll figure him out. Yeah. If not, his mom will call the station, I promise <laughs> you. Second shot is up and good by Williams, and it's 6-3. Blue Devils up by three. Down low, shot up, no good. Rebound comes down to Williams all over the court today. Driving, almost lost it. Didn't step on the line though. Tried to get it out. Now scramble for the ball, save. But Falk here has it. Went a little wild here now. And a foul is gonna be called. Usually the first game or two of the season, uh, the, the players are in fast pace, anxious, got that adrenaline flowing, and uh, trying to find uh, a good tempo to set in for the night. Foul is on Nick Rhodes, that's his second. So uh, he comes out of the ball game. We'll pick him up as they come back in. It, I think uh, number two is Butler. Driving, way up off the top, no good. Whistle, and an offensive foul is charged. Uh, was it, uh, well, I guess it wasn't. I'm not sure what the penalty was. And a steal, Butler, this isn't Butler, he'll tell me, but I think that's who it is. First game, you got to get to know these kids. Williams outside. Looking for a pick. Kicks it out. Holland. Butler. Trying to get it to Jordan. Knocked out of bounds by Falk here. Nate Edwards had his hand in there. And a steal. Traveling is going to be called against J.Q. Williams. Turnover for Culpepper. And we kind of expected, as you said, it, it's a little disorganized here at first. 6-3 Culpepper with half, almost half a period gone. Not a high scoring game. And Trey Thompson is in there, number three. I like, what I'm, I like what I'm seeing out of uh, J.Q. Williams so far, though. He seems to be uh, uh, managing the game very well, and uh, it seems to be very skilled and in control. Well, three shots will go for Culpepper. Going the other way, all the way down for an easy layup. Nate Edwards. 6-5, Falk here back to within one. 4.08 to go. First period. Almost a turn over there, and we got a whistle. And we do have a five second count. And we got a timeout. Timeout on the floor. And we will be back in 30 seconds. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community supporters Able Heating and Air, 718 7556. Found and Sons, 825 3530. Cash Imprints, 317-1473. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Six to five, Culpepper leads. After that time, our 355, about half a period has gone by and uh, 
Got a little wild here at first, Gary. Yeah, the, the, the kids are trying to settle in and uh, get comfortable out there on the court. They're not passing the ball with, uh, with haste and uh, early enough to stay out of some of the traps. And uh, it's causing problems and making them Make him look bad at times, like right here. He's Buck, getting rid of that ball. Buck here playing man to man. Down low. Shot blocked. Nate Edwards, that's the second block that he's had. Right. He's got a little bit of height for Falk. He looks like he's what, maybe 6'4? Yes. Yes, when we were on the court, he was about an inch or two taller than me. So. But you're shrinking. I am shrinking. You are. <laughs> <laughs> And we got a foul down low. We got another rule change this year that we need to tell the fans about, make them aware of. After five fouls, you shoot two. It used to be the one and one between five and ten fouls, but now you shoot five, two shots after the first five fouls, or common fouls. You always, you still get to shoot two if you follow the act of shooting. J.Q. Williams. It used to be one and one after seven fouls, right? And then two shots after ten fouls. Now it's one and one, uh, two shots after five fouls. Yep. Five team fouls. Five team fouls, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Down low, Edwards puts it up, and he has it blocked down low by Culpepper. I'm sure there's been many changes in your 50 years of doing this, right, Donnie? Because we... You know, we talked about this earlier, that this is your golden year, and when I was teasing you about it, you started figuring it up, and indeed, it is like your 50th year. I started broadcasting basketball for WCVA in 1963. And football the next year. I had to get Tucker Butler out of there. Second shot is up and good by Edwards. 8-7, Blue Devils by one. 3.16 to go, first period. Holland tried to set a pick there. Long shot outside, Butler way off. Holland follows, puts it up, nope. Walk here with the ball. Donner, cross court pass. Edwards in the corner will take a three and can it. The big man puts it down to give Falk here a 10-8 lead. I like the way they uh, passed the ball that time, worked it quickly, and uh, got the open shot because of that. Yeah, we got a whistle and foul. Culpepper right now is not working that ball the way they should be. They need to start passing that ball a little bit more and uh, free up some shooters. And I think they're a little nervous. Foul is called on J.Q. Williams. That's his first. Also checking in number 24, Dick Hoffman. 2.33 to go. Falk here with the basketball and the lead. Edwards outside and travel. Move those feet before we put the ball on the floor. Travis Brock, a little bit too eager there to get moving. Butler. Brings it down for the Blue Devils. Tries to drive through, lost it. Culpepper got it back. And Butler, nice drive down the left side of the lane. 10-10, we are tied. Edwards for three. This one rims out. Edwards got a nice shot on him, though, Donnie. I like the way he uh, takes his time, sets up, and got good rotation on the ball. That was almost a palmy, too. They, they are really starting to call that this year. I watched the girls game the other night. And if you turn that ball over, they will call it. Shot up and good. Donovan Glimp. Buck here, kicks it outside. Trey Thompson missed his first shot, Culpepper. 
Edwards back up. Nope, they're kicking the ball around. They're getting the rebounds, but they're not putting it back in. And as, as we said in the opening, Trey Thompson is the son of James Thompson, who was a coach here for how long? I don't know how long. Long time. Direct line from John Avery. Yes. Avery, Thornhill, Simon Poole. One year, Simon Poole. Yep. And, and then uh, Thompson. Yep. And now another link of, uh, well, Mr. Mr. played for, but Mr. played for Thornhill. Yep. Block here on the drive and a nice block there by Holland. I, I said Holland, but it was Nick Hoffman. We got a timeout on the floor. Timeout, 46 seconds left in the first period. And uh, while we've got timeout, we'll remind you about Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield, Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. I bought a new car from them about a month ago. Cash imprints. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with cash imprints. 317-1473. Abel Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC systems. There's peace of mind knowing they're able to keep your home comfortable. Abel Heating and Air, 718 Seven five five six, and found in Sons Funeral Home. Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Found in Sons eight two five three five three zero. Forty five seconds and counting. Twelve ten. Blue Devils lead Falk here. Butler outside. Kicks it down low, and it's stolen by Edwards. Edwards driving all the way. Didn't give it up, and he had it blocked. Whistle and a foul. Let's see who they can call that off. Foul is on Butler, and that is his first. First shot up and in. Dylan Donner. Donner will have another shot. Edwards goes out and gets a little bit of a rest. He played a good first quarter for Falk here. Donner's second shot won't go. Bottler for three. Nope. Scramble for the loose ball. Saved in by Glimp. Out to Butler. Clock down to 10 seconds. Butler stops, forces it up. No rebound, Falk here. And a foul at the buzzer is going to be called on Culpepper. Blocking foul. I think. Not sure. I think that may be on Jordan. So going to the line with time already expired for Falk here will be, let's see, um, Joe Jacques. First one up, no good. He'll get two. Five team fouls. Five team fouls on both teams. Mm-hmm. And he missed them both. Timeout on the floor. First quarter comes to an end with Kyle Pepper leading 12 to 11, and we will be back in one minute. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community supporters. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. 
From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with cash imprints. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. 1211 Culpeper Lee. Let's clar clarify one thing, Gary. I said I started in 1963 in the fall or the winter during basketball. I was a sophomore in high school then. Wow. Are you sure about that? I am positive about that. I have the yearbook to prove it. Falk here with the ball. Three-point shot from the corner will not go. Rebound. Comes down Culpepper. Edwards back in there. Comes down with that loose rebound. Finally gets some help. And trying to get it inside, almost threw it away. No, I thought it might have been a little travel call there, but again, as Travis Brock gets the two points. And Falk here goes up 13 to 12. Oh, nice shot from the corner. Braylon Kendrick. Cup up for still in the one, two, two. From the corner, three pointer will not go. Blue Devils come down with the ball, and we got a foul. Burnett charged with the foul for Falk here. <coughs> Backcourt foul, so they, they didn't shoot. I'm not sure how that works. Now they've, they have no fouls on the board for Culpepper. I'm not sure how this five foul business is. I think it must yet. go per quarter, Don. But they have five fouls up there for, um, no, I guess not. So anyway, we'll figure it out as we go along. Braylon Kendrick at the line for the Blue Devils, who lead 15 to 13. First shot up and dribbles off to the left. Kendrick's second shot coming. I think Coach Mister is working in a few players tonight just to see who can perform during game time situations. You know, Donnie, it's it's a little bit different playing game time situation than it is in scrimmages and at practice. So you can see who uh, who is mature on the court and uh, plays with uh, uh, some maturity. Well, these are untried players. Nice trap in the corner there by Carl Pepper. And a jump ball is called. Nice, that was a good trap. And actually, it results in a turnover because it's Culpepper ball on the jump ball situation. I see um, Culpepper work the ball, uh, get some touches from, from their teammates, and uh, be patient, a little bit more patient than they have been as far as going to the hoop and trying to drive through two or three people. All right, what do we got here now? I think he, the official, uh, well, I'm not sure what that was. I was thinking he was telling the coach to make sure he stays behind the line, but didn't look like it. And that passed right into the hands of a Falkir player. And he lost the ball. Almost got it back. Get a little ragged here. Yeah, need to play in control. And I don't, I don't see it right now. Much, much con uh, control out there, both individually and as teams. 
Well, neither one of these teams, you know, had good records last year. Like I said, Falk here has been abysmal for the last two or three since Wayne Grizzly left. So everybody's trying to find and get their footing out here and, this and, season. And Culpepper is in the same boat. I mean, the last many years I can remember, they've been young, they've been inexperienced, and uh, no standout players, really. Uh, uh, except for Amos uh, that graduated last year. He was pretty good. And another turnover by Williams for Culpepper. Nice pass to Edwards who missed the layup. And Culpepper comes down with a rebound. This is, this is getting really ragged. Glimp will take a three, it's way off the mark. Nick Rhodes all the way down, dumps it off. Shot up and no good by Dylan Donner, but a foul is called on Culpepper. See, the, the kids, it, it takes a long time for the kids really to understand that the game is played in at different speeds and in control versus all in one motion or all in one speed. And once you learn that and learn how to control yourself on the court, and if you have five players that play like that, then you have a team. Then you work the ball around. Get, get open shots, get layups underneath, get good shots. But if you play out of control, both as a team and individually, and all in one speed, then things are going to look called, like they do now. It's called playground basketball. Yes. All right, Dylan Donner made the first shot. He'll have the second coming. 16-14, Blue Devils up by two. Donner's second shot is in. 16-15, Culpepper lead is now one. And almost a turnover. Edwards can't believe it. I had that. That was. Well, actually he got fouled and the referee didn't call it. <laughs> By uh, J.Q. Williams. That's what he was complaining about. Oh yeah, Butler. To Williams at a whistle. But now what? You know, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I think the officials are in the same boat as the coaches. They're trying to figure this thing out, too. I, I don't know how, how many games these guys have officiated, but. It's coaches, the players, the officials, and us as oh, well. Oh, we're, we're veterans. We're, I don't have 50 years of experience because I'm only 45. Oh, so. no, no, yeah. Don't listen to any folks. Gedrick up. No. That was a walk if I've ever seen one. And they didn't call it. And uh, that looked like LeBron on the court. Turn over in the other direction. This second quarter, first quarter was a good quarter compared to this second quarter. These guys are really out of control. Both teams. I mean, we're not. Williams in the corner, getting lost, right, took it right out of his hand, and that was Trey Thompson. His See daddy that. taught him that, I'm sure. Nice pass underneath. And a steal, took it away from him. And Thompson almost <laughs> got it back. You got four turnovers in two seconds. <laughs> Butler and charging foul is going to be called. I'd just like to see four people touch the ball in one possession. I would love to see that. At least four people. Gary, I played with you, and only one person touched the ball in four quarters. You. <laughs> Thompson moves it around. Trying to work it in. Now they get it in the middle. Baseline. Ten footer. Up and in by Dylan Donner. And, and Falkier is doing a little bit better than Culpepper by passing the ball. And that's why he got an open shot, a good shot there. Right. 17 16, Falkier by one. And a bad pass inside, the foul is called on somebody. And 
And I think you're right on this foul business. It's by quarter, which is kind of unheard of. I'm never, not sure about that. That was a walk that wasn't called. Way outside. Glimp. Having trouble with Thompson. Thompson is playing good defense. I'll give the kid that. Travel is called. Kids are just in fast motion, need to slow down a little bit. Um, take their well, time. Well, and you've got a lot of kids that have never, I mean, some of these, most of these kids probably play JV, but right. this is high school varsity, and they just a little bit on the excited realm there. They just have to, be, it's just like JV is just a little faster. In the middle, nice pass up, shot will not go by Howard Burnett. And we got another charging foul on Butler. And that is his second. Two twenty-one to go. First half. Remember, at halftime, uh, James Thompson's going to come and visit us. Fauquier takes it out on the kick ball. Two fifteen on the clock, and we got a timeout on the floor. With timeout on the floor, we will pause for thirty seconds. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community supporters. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Cash Imprints, 317-1473. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Seventeen sixteen, Falk here in front. Falcons trying to win their first game of the season after losing to Hanley last week. And Culpepper's first game of the season. At least we got a close game, Donnie. We do. We don't have any blowouts. Uh, one team being up by 20 or 25. And we have to sit here and talk about how old you are and experience that. You're getting, into, you have. you're getting into dangerous territory. Down low shot. Fauquier has missed so many easy shots down low. Dylan Donner on that one, he had an easy shot down there. Turn around, jump, shot up and in. One forty to go. Once again, Mr. is uh, put it, another person in off the bench, number 34. Glimp gets it down. Shot up and in again by Dylan Donner. 19-18, Falk here by one. Butler goes to the basket, has it blocked by Edwards, but Edwards is going to be charged with a foul. It's his second. Butler will go to the line for Culpepper. He can tie the score with this one. And he does. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective. 19-19. Surely we will not go to halftime with neither team under 20. But we might. Watch the girls game, Culpepper Girls. If you want to see some scoring, uh, Kelly Hutcherson and uh, Amaya Robinson. Oh, man, they could put that ball in the basket. Then we had 39 points at halftime the other night. And foul down low. Mm -hmm. 
Maya Robinson, she's a sophomore this year, right? She had a yes. good year last year. I remember watching her and Kelly as well. And um, D Dylan Donner will go to the line. The problem with the uh, girls is they don't have any depth. And we knew that was going to be a problem, but uh, between Robinson and and Kelly Hutchison, they can put some points on the board. But the, the other thing is coaches like William and Rutherford, you know, they figured out, hey, if we can stop those two, you know, we're in pretty good shape. And that's how they ended up beating Culpepper by two points. But you'll see a good game when you see when we start broadcasting those girls. Well, I think we're going to be broadcasting uh, uh, each team over the next several weeks. Yep. So we're gonna we'll, get we'll have one of the uh, one of the CCHS girls, and then we'll have EV girls, and then we have the EV boys coming up. So yeah, we'll get to see them all, hopefully, weather permitting, before Christmas. Turn around, Ooh. jump shot, way off the mark. Edwards, Thompson wouldn't take the shot outside. Jacques, no. Rebound comes down. Culpepper. Limp. Coming down on 30 seconds. Limp will take a long shot from outside. His sister played for the uh, girls. See how anxious he was. As soon as he got the ball, he just looked to shoot it up there. He just needs to take his time a little bit more, set up, and, uh, and that'll come with the more experience that you uh, get during the year. Well, I'm sure that Mr. James will give him a year full at halftime, too. And it, he'll, he'll preach a little sermon in there and get him straightened out. Yep, Mr.'s a very good teacher. He really is. Um, Ten seconds. Trying to work it in. Now down on the baseline. And a whistle. Blocking foul on... Oh, blocking foul on Falk here, an offensive foul. So the ball turns over to Culpepper. 3.6 seconds left. Time for one shot. They roll it in. Glimp gets it and throws it away. So now we got 1.4 seconds for Falk here to take a shot. They'll try, I'm sure, to get it to Edwards. And Falk here <laughs> throws it away. Uh, that's like uh, uh, a, a quarterback expecting uh, the wide receiver to, you know, go go forward, and, and the wide receiver doesn't go forward. Now, Culpepper has 1.4 seconds to get off his shot. One of those timing patterns, right? Right, exactly. And now we got a whistle. Number two, All right, in it comes, and a steal by Falk here, Thompson, and that is it. First half comes to an end with a score, Falk here 21, and Culpepper 19. We'll be back in just a few moments. You're watching Blue Double Basketball on the Culpepper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community supporters. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sons Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with cash imprints. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments in over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. We are back at our halftime guest tonight is James Thompson. 15 years as a coach here at Culpeper. This is his first year away from the team. And uh, JT, we talked earlier in the, in the summer you know, it was kind of a shock when I found out that you were not coming back because you are a fixture here and have been for all those years. But um, 
and a lot of people thought, you know, there was a lot of speculation. Some people said, well, he was fired. Some people said, well, he just got tired of bad teams. Tell us why you left, and I know why it is. Yeah, yeah the one, I mean, it wasn't, wasn't anything. I did get fired. Um, I just decided my son was a ninth grader this year, and, you know, just wanted to watch him play, and I've never coached him. So, you know, I've been there all those years, you know, Little League and everything else, and it's important. Even if they don't get a lot of playing time, it's important for a kid when they look up in the bleachers, they see you. And I've also learned when I was helping Coach Thornhill, when you're coaching your children, you actually don't get a chance to enjoy them. So I, was, I took that into that, and I talked to other coaches who coached their sons, and some of them regretted it, you know, if I, if I had to do it over. And, you know, it's his journey. It's his journey, and I just wanted to, you know, be there for him. And a lot of people don't know it, and I really did not know it, dude. But you live in Fauquier County. Yes, so I've been living in Fauquier for 20 years. Yeah. Your son goes yeah. to Fauquier as a natural yeah. part of his growing up. Yeah, his friends, his teammates. Uh, it's a couple of freshmen on that team that were on the undefeated uh, middle school championship team last year. So, um, you know. Which that, middle school? Mi Marshall Middle. Marshall. Marshall oh, yeah, Middle. Marshall. Yeah. Well, they're my yeah. buddies up there. Yeah, and uh, so, you know, the chemistry he had with them, plus he plays all the sports. He's not just a basketball player. I know people think, like, oh, he's going to play basketball, whatever. He plays every sport. So I'm just there for all of it, and it was conflict of time. Well, I've been impressed with uh, Trey playing defense. Now, he had, I think he took one shot and missed it, but he uh, he's played well on the defensive end of the floor. Yeah, he learned you got to fit in. You got two two juniors on the team that are the go-to players. You know, you got to find your space where you where you belong, what you're supposed to do. You don't always have to score the ball to contribute. So I thought he did a good job helping control the tempo a little bit. And, uh, we'll see what happens in the second half. Well, I, um, th does he love the game as much as you did, JT? Because I remember you talking about kids at a young age. I mean, I coached you when you were eight years old. Right. And I remember you. you. you I remember old. JT and uh, how much he loved the game. Couldn't wait to get to the court. And I know how hard he worked to accomplish what he accomplished in his career. Does he have the same love for the game, JT? I, I, right now, at 14, you know, you just want to see the passion. Are they waking up wanting to go play? Right. A lot of times, parents are making kids play sports and stuff. If he's asking to go play and stuff, yeah, that's good. But a lot of it's product of environment, basically. The last 15 years, I've been sitting here talking to you guys, and he's usually standing around right behind me. I can't believe up. that yeah. little kid has grown up and is 14. Right. Right. And, and so, like I said, it's a product of environment. He's a round ball. It's not that, you know, he's growing up, but that's it's been his life. He's come to games. He's been in locker rooms. So, you know, it's not that's, – that's why he's not rattled or anything. He's been around it too much. All right, you said he plays other sports. Plays what? He played football this year. He was a quarterback, safety um, for the Falkhead JV team. Okay. Yep. And then he played. He actually played soccer in middle school, and then he, uh, did a little track and field. All right. Which which sport does he love the most? Whatever season it is. <laughs> well, I will say this: that if he's on the, the varsity at That's ninth the varsity. grade, yeah. there there can be a huge change by the time you get to the eleventh grade. Yeah. If once you mature and you start getting it, and if you start getting it, you can improve within a year or two to no end. I think we all know that. Yeah, it's how right. much work you want to put into it, you well, know, to get to a certain uh, level. It yeah. all depends on the passion you have for the game. Well, well the man that's coaching Culpepper right now, he played as a freshman. Yeah. On the yeah. Team, so yeah. I mean, well, like a one thing I want to do is I want to applaud you for letting him play all the sports because a yeah. lot of parents want to concentrate on that one sport. Yeah. And you being a basketball coach, I'm sure yeah. that's your first love. But, you know, like you said, whatever sport, is in season. That's his favorite. That's, favorite That's the way it should be. Yes. James Thompson, yes. thank you for coming and talking to us tonight. We miss you, buddy. Yeah. And, um, you know, when, it, when, when Trey grows up, maybe you'll get back here. Yes, sir. Thanks for covering. Mr. Mr. May let you be his assistant well, coach. Hey, so, you know, <laughs> I'm neutral until he's in the game. All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment with the second half of tonight's ball game on the Culpeper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community supporters. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Cash Imprints, 317-1473. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. We are 
are back. Getting ready for the second half of tonight's ball game between the Fauquier Falcons and the Culpeper Blue Devils. 21 to 19, Fauquier leads by two points. And Gary, the first half was not pretty. Hopefully they'll clean it up a little bit second half. I hope so, Richie. And I'm, I'm disappointed in Richie Saffron. Richie Saffron, I saw him from a distance, was handing out welcome home Mr. Shirts. And he didn't come to us. We would have wore welcome home Mr. Shirts. I would have. I don't know about you, but I would have worn a I shirt wear, tonight. Any, anything is free, I will wear. <laughs> All right, Blue Devils with the basketball. Butler will take a long three, and he cans it. So right away, Culpepper takes, gets back to within one, 23-22. Culpepper still in that one, two, two. In the middle it goes Edwards. Shot up, no good. And foul down low on somebody. Foul's gonna be charged on Falk here on Howard Burnett. It's his second. All right, let's see if we can work as a team a little bit better this, this, this half. Maybe pass the ball a little bit more. Williams. Yeah. yeah. Takes it. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Went right to the basket on that one. And threw up a sloppy shot. That's the thing. Outside shot is no good. It's one and done. It's, yeah. It's, you know, whoever has the ball shoots. Oh, nice play there by Nick Rhodes sliding down the right side of the baseline. A lot of times players think they have to do more than they than they really need to do, especially if you don't have the skill level to do it. If you got the skill level to do it, that's one thing. Then go with it. I would, I would love to see you go with it, but Jeremiah, if, you don't, if you don't have that skill level to do it, then you need to pass that ball. Jeremiah Johnson, that, that three-pointer was no good. Butler trying to get his shoes back on. Not everybody can be Mr. Jennings. Right? Or, or J.T. Thompson. Or Gary Deal. No. <laughs> I, you, hey, th this guy can shoot. I've seen him shoot. Underneath, foul is called. And uh, Falk here will go to the free throw line. It'll be Howard Burnett. So quiet, I want to pass the plate. First shot is up and good. Second shot for Burnett. I'm starting to feel, Donnie, that Culpepper is in a delicate situation right now to where this game could get out of control if they're not careful. So we'll you see know, what happens. I don't think either team is capable of taking the game out of control, to I, be perfectly honest with you. I, I, I see Falkier playing a little more team basketball than Culpepper is, and I feel like that it could go up by 15 here if they're not careful. But Falkier yeah. could go up by 15 here in the next five minutes, ten minutes if uh if, I don't know that Falkier could score 15 in, in ten <laughs> minutes with nobody guarding them. Butler, down the lane. Once again, you know, no passing, just. All right, 26-22, four-point lead for the Fauquier Falcons. And we do not want it to get it. And a steal ahead to Williams for two. 26-24. Blue Devils back to within two. Pass in, Edwards wheeling. Nice block in there by Culpepper. Referees are letting them play, that's for sure. They are. Three point shot from way outside, no good. Follow up, no good. Falk here's got it and he is, Rhodes is fouled, or Dylan Donner is fouled from behind. Five 
5.15 to go, third period, 26-24. Falk here by two. Lead seesawed back and forth in the first half. Falkir's been ahead the entire second half. Edwards. Pass. Nice pass underneath. Beautiful shot. James Tong, or no, let's see, who is that? Is Mad uh, Kulang? Yeah. Yeah. Once again, one person touched the ball. Baseline jumper, no good. Scramble for the loose ball. Butler had it, gets it out. Butler, straight down the lane. Nope. Two men down the floor for Falk here in a hurry. And a scramble and a foul. Not sure who's going to be called on for the foul. I think the referees have decided that they got to let them play, Donnie, because if they don't, then they're going to be at the foul line all night long, and it's going to be a three-hour game. Yep. Donnie will throw it in, gets it way outside. Three-point shot, in and out. And foul, uh, foul is going to be called as Donner puts the two points in. And suddenly it's a 30-24 lead for the Falkier Falcons. And Gary, you may be right. Yeah, the, the difference is uh, Donner and Edwards. They, they know how to play pretty well. Now, the other, the other part of the team is, is a little bit inexperienced, it looks like. But they... they Seemed to be in control a little bit more. And Donner just made that, converted a three-point play, 31 to 24. The other thing is that Falk here is actually passing. Remember they the old are, Brits? yes. That's Remember? what I was mentioning earlier. They're playing more together than Culpepper is. Remember the old Wayne Brizzy teams? Oh, they passed the ball 15 times. <laughs> and if they didn't, he would have them on the bench. That's exactly right. And that's, to me, that's, I'm, I'm old-fashioned. Um, and, and I, th that's the way I coach as well. I mean, you got to have some discipline. Well, it's like you said, Culpepper doesn't have a star on this team. They don't have the one player that you can go to, so everybody's going to have to contribute for yes. them to win. Yes. And you got to, each possession needs to be important, and you got to work for a good shot. Especially in a low scoring game like this, every possession is really important. Coach McCombs and I, we think alike. Because remember in the coaches' show, we were talking about that. And, uh, you know, it comes down to each possession and treasuring each possession. I think, I think Mr.'s going to have him play like that. Edwards all the way. There's Edwards again. And it's 33 to 24. It's a nine point lead for Falk here. Almost a steal there, and a steal, and Edwards touched the line. He stepped on the line going by, I think, or no. Do they call foul? I believe they must have. It's Edwards and Donner. and They, more than anybody else out there on the court between both teams, I think they know how to play the game just a little bit better, and that makes a big difference. And Edwards has some height on him, too, and yes, he, he can does. shoot from outside. Yes. And he is at the line right now. Going to shoot two. Culpepper already has that those five fouls in the third quarter. I still can't get used to you know going by quarters on the fouls. One out of two for Edwards. 34-24. It's a double-digit lead for the Falcons. I said 15 a few minutes ago, right? We're, you we're did. at 10. So you did. It was a. It was a very important part of the game. Glimp. Into the corner. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound comes down to Trey Thompson. And throw it away, touch last by Culpepper. 
Pass intended for Travis Brock. Check again for the Blue Devils, number 12, Braden Kentry. Kendrick in the ball game now for Culpepper. Double teamed in the corner, whistle. And Falk here calls a timeout. Timeout on the floor, and we will pause for 30 seconds. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community supporters. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Cash Imprints. 317-1473. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Okay, deal. Falk here in the second half has uh, kind of taken control of the game for the time being at least, leading 34 to 24. Um, Blue Devils need to get get their act together here pretty quick. Yeah, they do, Donnie, and uh, Donner and uh, Edwards uh, are playing pretty well, uh, especially the last uh, five or eight minutes, and uh, to me, that's the difference in the game right now. I think uh, if they touch the ball and the other three players on the Falkier team work with them, uh, they're going to be hard to beat tonight, I believe. Edwards gets it into Brock. Rhodes in the corner. Edwards, fake, kicks it out. Thompson gets away from the double team. You can tell that kid has watched his daddy coach. And kick around in there and a steal. And there's right there is Trey Thompson. And he makes one for the home crowd. Freshman. And a steal, another one. Tried to bang it off somebody's leg. Hey, listen, this kid's going to be good. I can, I can see it right there. He knows how to play defense. And Simon Poole would love it. <laughs> if I heard Simon Poole yell defense one time, he yelled it 10 trillion times. <laughs> Meanwhile, Barry Coleman and those guys were going down the court shooting like the parking lot was on fire. And... Uh it, not only defense, but he he yelled baseline, baseline yep. too, and that that to me is important. I oh mean, yeah, it, it's not coached much in today's game, but it's really important on defense. I think. Turn around, jump shot, partially blocked. Rebound comes down to Falk here. Donner. I think Edwards needs to take that three over there if he gets a shot. He's got a pretty good shot on him. After I say Donner, I have this tendency to want to say Blitzen. <laughs> Falk here taking his time. Starting to look like a Wayne Grizzly team here now. All of a sudden. Yeah, they're working the ball well. And why not? You're up 10, 12 points. You can, uh, up take, run some clock and work for a good shot. Edwards. And that's a good shot right there. Turn around, jump. There it right is. In. Edwards. Six-foot shot. I mean, the high percentage shot. And You were right. You said 15 points. Well, they're up. Down by 14. Edwards and Donner. I mean, uh, that's who you want shooting the ball for your team. I mean, they, they have nice shots on them. They know how to play. And. Everybody else just needs to work together with them uh, to get them those shots. Falk here threw the ball away, or a couple of threw the ball away. Zeller is coming back into the ball game now. Going said, out is uh, Charlie Holland. I've said it before, Donnie. I'd rather for my one or two best shooters to shoot the ball 70% of the game versus someone that can't shoot the ball uh, I'd rather I'd rather for my good shooters to shoot a bad shot versus my bad shooters to shoot good shots. All the way easy basket. Fuck here. Mod Kulog and another steal. Here comes Edwards. Tried to stuff it, missed it. Ball goes out of bounds. Edwards hits the deck. Walk here, coach, yelling for a foul. He didn't get it. A lot, of, a lot of bodies rolling there. I thought it was something. 
Turning to the goal line is number two, Elijah Butler. 27 seconds left, third period, 40 to 24. 16 point lead for the Falcons. Seller, outside the glimp, gets a pick, can't make anything of it. Coming down to six seconds. Butler for three, Stop. swish. As the third quarter comes to an end with a score, the Falkir Falcons 40 and the Culpeper Blue Devils 27. We will be back with the fourth quarter of tonight's game in 45 seconds. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community supporters. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with cash imprints. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpepper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments in over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. Gary Deal, the Blue Devils needed that three-pointer from Butler there at the end of the third quarter to try to get some momentum going down the stretch. They trail by 13 points. And I, I finally figured out what they need to do. That's the first time they've worked the ball. They looked in control. They need to play many possessions like there's 16 seconds to go and they're working for the last shot. That's the way they need to play. 60% of their possessions. But right now, I think when you're down by 13, you've got to be careful that you don't stall it for too long. Trey Thompson running the offense for Falk here. Down the lane. Oh, he missed the shot. Easy bucket, but he got it back. Kulak, cross court, Edwards baseline. Back to Thompson outside, eating up a little clock here. Looking for the good shot. There he was on the baseline, he should have went to him. Yep, trying to get it down low, and they do. Edwards wheels, gets past Zeller, puts it up, had an easy shot and missed it. That was a very good move. That was a good move. He just he didn't take the ball off the off the backboard. You know, you gotta try to rim it in there. Butler can't get it to go. Three on one break. And the basket by Donner will not go, but he is fouled. You see what he tried to do there, Donnie? He tried to create that contact himself. I don't really like that. I mean, I do if it's the right situation, but if you if you try to do that, sometimes you think about that more than trying to finish the shot. And oh. he didn't finish that shot. He could have finished that shot if he'd extended to the rim, but he was trying to create that contact more than finish the shot. Well, I think it depends, too, on the caliber of the player. I mean, if you have a superstar player that knows he can do it and do all kinds of trick shots, yeah, but, you know, these are high school kids and someone playing their first varsity game yep. can't do that. Anyway, it's easy for us to sit up here and talk about all this stuff. Those kids are down there playing. Second shot, two for two for Dylan Donner. 42 to 27, back to a 15-point lead for Fauquier. Underneath, nice pass, and he missed it. Got it back, missed it again. From the corner, three-pointer will not go. Rebound, Culpepper. Butler, all the way. Follow-up is good by Smith. Forty-two to twenty-nine. Six minutes to go. Devils need to make a move here. And it starts with defense. You've got to stop them from making points. Down low. 
Oh, nice play down there with Donner getting the easy bucket down low. 44-29. Smith, turnaround jump shot is no good. Rebound, Edwards for Fauquier. It's the Edwards Donner show. It is. Donner. But other people are getting touches on the ball. It's not like they're just completely dominating it. They're dominating the scoring, but they're getting good passes from other guys to set them up. Culpepper's just they're, been. They're dominating because they have the skill level to dominate. And, and they know how to move. They know how to shoot. They, they are playing very well, and, they, and, and the most important thing is they're in control. They're not out of control like we're seeing right. from members of both teams. But they've had some good passes. They're playing a good team basketball game here in the second half. They, are, they were a little ragged in the first half, but they have really improved. Edwards. Donner. Nice. See, that was a nice pass that right was. down the middle. Very nice. Joe Jokes. 46-29, all of a sudden this game is out of hand. Butler. Follow up no good. And loose ball. Foul is on Butler, I think. The one thing I noticed too, that's gonna hurt Culpepper this year, and then maybe get Matt Amos back in here, and he's not dressed out tonight. But uh, they don't have an outside shooter. Uh, that's why they need Matt Amos, and I think there's another player, too, and I can't recall his name that's not playing tonight as well. All right, time out on the floor, and we will be back in 30 seconds. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community supporters. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Cash Imprints, 317 one four seven three battlefield automotive five four seven three six seven three forty six twenty nine our score walk here well in command a couple of cow pepper alumni over on the other side uh, we mentioned scooter bailey who was Fine football player for Culpepper. Colleen Mary is uh, an administrator at Falkir High School now, and she's sitting over behind the bench. So a couple of familiar names. Scooter, I guess, uh, I don't, he didn't play on the state championship team. He, I think he graduated about 96 or 97. Jeremy, his brother, did. Jeremy did. And I he was that. one yeah. heck of a linebacker. Oh, he didn't have an ounce of fat on that guy. Yeah, he was, he was between him and Stanley Moore, I, I mean, James Moore, not Stanley Moore, but James Moore and yeah. Jeremy Bailey are the two best, what I've seen, two best, uh, two best uh, linebackers for Culpepper. Well, Joel Pearson, too, he, uh, that kid didn't have any fat on him. I mean, he was lean as he could be. 4.30 to go, 46-29. Falk here, in command. Working the ball on the outside. Edwards, nice wheel down the lane, puts it up and gets the foul. Nice play. This kid, can he can play the game. Yes, him and Donner. They and if you get a chance, and I, I'm trying my best to think of the kid's name as a kid at Highland is highly recruited. I think uh, Duke, North Carolina, and Virginia all are recruited him. And I'll have his name for you for the next. Gary Lee gave it to me, but uh, some good football, uh, basketball players around. And a steal, J.Q. Williams. See, the coach from Falk here right there was disappointed because he wanted him to pull that ball out and start over, and he didn't He didn't do that, and he turned it over. Three-pointer will not go. Scramble for the loose ball. Falk here comes up. Whistle and a something. 
We'll see as they sort it out. I think we got a, another timeout, and with timeout, we will remind you of some of our sponsors, like Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC systems. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Last couple of nights, we need that because it's been cold. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Bowden and Sons Funeral Home. Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford proudly serving the Culpepper community for 20 years. And cash imprints from shirts to banners and everything in between. Imprint your message on the community with cash imprints. Donner to Jacques. A little pressure, a little late for pressure here. Down the middle goes Dylan Donner, and he is fouled. Donner will go to the line. This Falkir TV, you know, they've had some lean years, but they, they don't look all that bad. No, they, they, they play well as a team, uh, especially in the second half at first. I mean, this is their second game. Right. So the first half they came out, they were looking a little ragged, like you said. Uh, not fluid, run, wasn't running good motion offense, um, and it looked uh, out of control. But second half, I'm impressed. They, they played a lot better with Donner and with Edwards. I think they're going to have a decent year. Well, you got to remember, too, sometimes you play with the competition, and Culpepper was very ragged in the first half. In the corner, Zeller kicks it out. Well, I can tell you, Culpepper doesn't have any anybody skilled as Edwards on their team. No, they don't. And uh, that, that presents a problem because you gotta, you got to coach that and teach that. And I know Mr. Will, and uh, by, the, by the end of the year or by next year, hopefully he'll have a couple players that – play with maturity and uh, with control. And, and, and Well, Matt Amos, when he comes back, he will definitely help. Yes, he's going to help. That's right. But now we need a miracle. 49, 29, 20 point lead. You said 15, man. You underestimated the situation. Holland, Glip. J.Q. Williams, turn around shot, up and in. That's going to be a two-pointer. Holland with a basket. Lead under 20 now, Jake, uh, Trey Thompson back in. And Falkier coach got put it, Donner and uh, Edwards on the bench, so he's playing some of his bench right now and uh, giving them some experience. But they're still working the ball nicely. 225. Nice pass underneath to Trey Thompson for an easy shot. That's four points tonight for the freshman. Good cut by uh, Trey. This kid's going to be all right. His daddy's got to be proud. Zeller for three. Nope. Rebound. Falkier had it, lost it, but Zeller comes back up and he traveled. Coming down on the two minute mark. For Culpepper, mercifully, this one is just about over. 51-31, Falk here by 20. Jacques in the corner. Out to Thompson. Thompson looking, always looking. Shot up, will not go. Glimp tried to save it in, cut. One forty-four left. Remind you too, the JV game went to Falk here. They won by a score of forty-five to thirty-four over Culpepper. And foul called on Falk here.
138 left, 20 point lead for the Falcons. All of it but the crying, as they used to say. Kendrick at the line for the Blue Devils. Sort of like my uh, commanders and over there having to face uh, Freddie Shanks, who's a big Dallas Cowboy fan, between him and and uh, Rodney Stewart. Rodney oh, Stewart. Rodney Stewart. And, and Ludwell Blue Brown. Oh, uh, man. Blue Brown, you know, I have to deal with that. That's and, Cowboys business. Yeah. I don't care who wins, as long as the Cowboys don't. Hear that, Rodney. And what happened to pulling for a team that's close by versus being 2,000 miles away? I, I just don't want, I've never understood well, I, that, Don. I can't pull for Washington <laughs> either after they changed their name. Up and in. Nice shot there by Don, uh, Chris Rizzo. Less Rizzo. Less Rizzo. What was the girl's name, Rizzo, that was in, uh, oh, what was the movie? With uh, John Travolta and, uh, what was the movie? That was way before my time. Oh, yeah. Olivia Newton-John. Grease. Grease. Yeah, it was a character in there named Rizzo. And she was a character. And travel, stop at the clock once again, 121. You have to come up with a lot of things to talk about when there's a 20 point lead. Yeah, we talked about that earlier, you're right. Now we're having to sit here and make up conversation about John Travolta and Grease and Saturday Night Fever and that's back in my day, that's. Oh yeah. I could do them BG songs. Oh man, you get my guitars, I'll show you something. Hey, they have great songs. How Deep Is Your Love is one of my favorites. Zeller puts it in, nice pass. And we've cut the lead down a little bit. It's 53 to 37, under a minute. Rizzo missed that one. And knocked out of bounds. I'm one point off, Donnie. 16 point lead. I said 15. Deal. I would. A I, prognosticator. I, I should never have even attempted to um, say anything against your prognostication. <laughs> 41 seconds. And I don't think it's much use in rolling the ball out when you're down by. That's true. <laughs> all this, this many points. I mean, it's not like one possession is going to help you. Zeller down low, turns, puts it up, and got it off the glass. Nice play for the big kid. 53 to 39. 20 seconds. And Rizzo. Ball thrown away. Falkir still got it, though. Scramble. Five seconds. McAuliffe. And they just dribble it out. Final score. The Falkir Falcons 53. The Culpeper Blue Devils 39. We'll be back with our postgame show in just a moment. You're watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Culpeper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community supporters. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with cash imprints. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments in over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. 
Mercifully, it's all over. 53 to 39 to Falk here. Falcons defeat the Culpeper Blue Devils in Culpeper's opening game of the season. Uh, Falk here now one and one. They lost to Hanley, came back in first half. As we said, Gary Deal, it was, knew the team played well, but Falk here put it together in the second half. Culpeper didn't. Yeah, they did, Donnie. They played more like a team. They passed the ball. Uh, they have two good players in Edwards and Donner that kind of took over the game, and uh, the skill level kind of showed from them that uh, uh, what, as far as being out on the court for both teams, uh, those two players looked like they were more mature and uh, had more skills than uh, the other players, and it showed in, in the difference in the score. All right, well, tell us who scored here for uh, both teams. So Falkier, Donner, uh, Dylan Donner had 18, and uh, Nate w Edwards had 14. And then for Culpepper, you had uh, three players uh, just under 10 points. Elijah Butler, uh, J.Q. Williams, and uh, Zeller came on at the end and had a couple baskets uh, as well. But Culpepper, as you said, had nobody that scored in double figures. Butler had... Uh, he had two threes, and uh, he had a, another field goal and a, a, a foul shot. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Nobody hit double figures. That's not a good sign. Yeah, it, it, uh, it was a hard game to watch uh, for both teams, especially in the first half. And then, uh, like you said earlier, Falkier kind of came through in the second half, played Good team basketball, worked the ball around, got good shots, and uh, and converted those shots. But ladies and gentlemen out there in TV land, it's going to get better. I've got faith in Mr. Jennings, and he will bring this team along. Yes, he and will. And at least it was competitive there for about three quarters. So uh, it was a good ball game, uh, opening game. Like I said, Mr. just got to figure out who pl who can play and who can't play. A lot of these guys are new players, and it's just going to take some time. And when we say new players, a lot of times, you know, a lot of the players don't play youth basketball. They don't pick up the game until they get in seventh, eighth, ninth grade. We were talking about that on the coaches' show, how important it is to really get a program and and have uh, the parents get their kids in programs early at uh, an early age at, you know, eight, nine, ten years old. Okay, that's going to about do it for us tonight. Uh, good ball game for a while and uh, good ball game for Falk here. Learning experience for the Culpeper Blue Devils, and they will get better as the season goes along. So until next time, Donnie Johnston and Gary Deal, bidding you a very pleasant good evening. Reminding you once again the final score of tonight's ball game, the Falk here Falcons 53 and the Culpeper Blue Devils 39. You've been watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Culpeper Media Network.